In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your registration pages with the BuddyBoss platform, which will allow your users to actually register accounts. So to access the registration pages, you'll go to BuddyBoss pages, and then you can just scroll down to registration. You'll notice here on my set, it says registration is currently disabled. To enable open registration, please click on the registration checkbox in general settings. So you may or may not see that depending on your current status. So we go to registration, uh, registrations under general settings, and we'll check allow non-members to register new accounts. This is going to open up registration so anyone on your site can come create accounts. If you don't check that, then nobody can create a new account unless you add them through the admin. So we've got that set. So let's head back over to pages. So you'll see we have two pages set out of the box, register and activate. And so register is going to create, let me just show you in a logged out window. And we're using our buddy boss theme here to show you, but all this works without it as well. So I can click sign up and this gives us this registration page. And I'll go through later how we add all these fields to the registration form. I'll come back to that in a bit. But for now, you just see that this has this page and you fill out the details and click create account. And then an email is going to be sent to the user with a link that they can click that will allow them to go activate their account. So once they do that, it's going to send them to this page that whatever page you have assigned is activate, which is going to be assuming this is the URL of your page, which is the default it's going to be here. And in the email, basically they can enter an activation key, but it'll also give them a link they could click, which will just take them here and it'll automatically activate them, which will allow them to log in. So let me move on to these two items. So we have terms of service and privacy policy. So we can assign any page to either of these, and then it's going to require the user to confirm that they agree to the terms of service and or privacy policy in order to proceed with the registration. So for privacy policy, um, on modern versions of WordPress, when you install WordPress, it creates a privacy policy page automatically, although this page is in draft form. So they give you this, some guide for privacy policy, etc. Let's say we're happy with it. You might want to edit it. Let's say we're happy. We're going to go ahead and publish it. And then at this point, we can go to settings, privacy. I'll open that in a new tab. And you can see that you can set a privacy policy page. So this is just part of WordPress right now. This everything I just showed you there is not real is not coming from BuddyBoss platform, it's coming from WordPress. And I want to go to the sign-in page, we get this privacy policy. So again, that's from WordPress. But then if we go back to um, BuddyBoss pages and go to registration, the reason I brought that up is you probably want to use that same privacy policy page as your privacy policy page here. Okay, so then we can come back here and refresh. And now it says by creating an account, you're agreeing to the privacy policy. I pop up, I click it, and it gives me a pop up with all the privacy info. And then for terms of service, I can create a page. Looks like I don't have one that's associated with that yet. So for terms of service, WordPress does not have a default page it creates. So we're just going to click create page. And it's going to create one and automatically sign it for us. So I can save that. And I come back here. And now it says by creating an account, you're agreeing to the terms of service and privacy policy. So that page is empty. If I go back to a WordPress pages here and hit terms of service, I can enter some content here. Obviously you would wanna draft up something that makes sense for your site and you'll get it in here. So this is really all optional for you, but you should be aware that this is required by GDPR laws. Meaning if some of your customers are in the EU, then they're gonna want you to have proper privacy policy in terms of service during the registration process, informing the customers of what kind of data you're collecting and the terms of the site. And there's some other GDPR tools that come with the BuddyBoss platform, which we'll go over in other videos. And also there's another video where I go through what each one of these fields actually means and how to modify them.